Hello folks and welcome to Tech TV. Tom here. I know what you're thinking. Tom has turned into a twisted, ugly looking thing like a cow's foot. But no, I can assure you it's just my voice you're listening to. But on a more serious note, in this trim we are dealing with an injured claw. This is one of two lame cows on this farm today. The rest of the cows are dry off trims. We often see comments with reference to the farmer not looking after their cows. If you have looked after kids in your care, they are out playing, one falls, cuts their knee and is injured. Should we suggest you are to blame? No, of course not. This is life and I am not comparing your kids to cows. It's just a little example. But life on a farm is busy and farmers do a fantastic job of looking after their cows. They all know that if they don't take care of their animals, nobody wins. And with rising input costs, it's vitally important to run the farm as efficiently as possible. That's why we are here today. As I prepare this claw for a block, you can see a white powdery like substance. Where you get a lot of horn growth, you get this. This is dehydrated horn and is called pith. No, I haven't developed a lisp and I'm not taking the pith. It's an unusual name. I am cleaning this away to make it all nice and clean and free of dust for to leave the adhesion of the block at its optimum level. Oh, the smell of popcorn strikes again. This is a front left foot, this is the outer claw, but this here, when you look at it here, how I can put my finger up in there, it uh, is an injury, narcotic toe. Toe necrosis comes from an injury where the claw gets a bang or a knock, there is no flexibility in the claw, a swelling occurs in the claw capsule, the blood flow is cut off and this is what causes the dead or necrotic tissue to form. have to take this away slice by slice quite gently is this this as I said earlier has come from a injury and it won't heal and I am trying to remove with as little effort as possible on that horn it's incredibly hard in there So really what I'm doing here is, um, as you can see, front right uh, foot, this is the front left foot. Normally this is the claw that we get problems with uh, barrier grazing, or this is the claw that normally, should we say it normally, gives problems in the front feet. But this here, as you can see, you see the trauma up here in this, the hoof capsule has been cracked swollen actually the, the the bone structure in the claw has actually started to twist and uh, this is 100 percent an injury on this little cow so i'll clean it out 
I don't want to, I can't cure it. I just want to make her as comfortable as I can without causing her too much hassle and too much, certainly too much pain. She's feeling that. So I just want to get the rough, jagged edges. There really is no point in me going to the very corium with that because it's it's not going to heal. But we can assist her with this block. This is the slow wear block. It's an XXL block. It's a large block because just the larger it is, the less pressure will be on it. So I will uh, proceed and just clean out this little corner and just give this a salicylic dressing. And there is no point in trimming down and causing a lot of bleeding because if you're not going to cure it, we're only assisting to help her to make her more comfortable with this injury. So just, I want this edge to not really, I want the block to be taking the, the weight, which it is. But as you can see, as you can see, just as I hold that up, you can see what I'm trying to do here. I want to reduce the height of the edge around here without hurting what's going on in here. And when she walks, her foot hits the ground, it's going to be at a nice angle. So we can even get the camera in here to show you what I'm speaking about. As you can see, I've reduced the height around here. This here is bruising, but as I said, the claw, whole claw capsule has, has is, is disfigured, and the bone structure has actually turned almost like a corkscrew. And uh, she's just not going to come back from this one, unfortunately. But if I can shorten the toe, as you can see the difference there, as I have shortened the toe as much as I can and if you see the difference in the two toe lengths that come across we're still we still have you know we're still coming across to the bottom of the block. So really the block with its size and with this shortened back really this will be hitting the ground coming in contact with the ground first so therefore it will be cushioning this all the time so really all we can do is assist this little gear to get, uh, whenever she goes to the ground, like that there, as she walks on it, and you can see the back block in the background will be hitting the ground and taking the weight and leaving this cow some comfort. I'll stick on salad select after wrap. So there we have block, nice big block. It's going to hit the ground first. It's going to take the weight. We have the uh, the narcotic toe uh, bandage. We've cut down short, reduced the weight. We've really done the best we can here in the situation. So uh, we will uh, try and get it get. Cowed across, we don't want her to be in all day. I know it takes a little longer to trim, but it's just like bringing these through. 